Metal Heroes X. Oh look, another pathetic tool. Hey yo, and welcome to Metal Heroes X, where we celebrate the treasure trove of Mavericks across the Mega Man franchise. Today we're putting a lid on Mega Man X3 as we look to topple its main antagonist in what is the strange case of Dr. Doppler. Dr. Doppler was a genius engineer and scientist whose selfless actions strived to improve both Reploid and humankind. The benevolent Doc helped Mavericks reintegrate into society with an antivirus he had spent years developing. The reformed Mavericks built Doppeltown in his honor, a place that was meant to be a utopia, a safe haven free of Maverick activity, and Dr. Doppler its supervisor. The Nightmare Police were created to keep the peace and Doppler turned his focus on finding a cure for the Sigma virus. In fact, it was Doppler who had discovered the virus in the first place. Doppler's exposure to the Sigma virus would prove to be his downfall. The good doctor became infected and the following antiviral treatments for maverick behavior in reploids would turn out to be nothing more than a placebo. The majority of the population of Doppeltown came together to form the Doppler army and Dr. Doppler had become nothing more than another Sigma fanatic. Building Sigma a new body, reviving and upgrading the rebellious vial, and launching an all-out attack on the Maverick Hunter base. After Doppler's eventual defeat at the hands of X, many have speculated that Doppler returned to normal, just before sacrificing himself to help put a stop to Sigma in what would be a final act of redemption. While others believe it was Zero, who helped X destroy Sigma's new body, a detail that would be left out of the Maverick Hunter's report. Either way, Doppler himself went down with his lab, but his antiviral research would live on. Can you name this pathetic ex-Maverick Hunter? Dr. Doppler was designed by Tatsuya Yoshikawa. His name may be a reference to the Doppler effect, a change in wave frequency in relation to its observer. The theme music for the Doppler lab stages was Kinio Yamashita. Mega Man X3 1996. Dr. Doppler makes his debut and only in-game appearance to date. In this game, Doppler goes on the defense with his new battle armor, throwing his balls around the room or attempting to bash X with his barrier shield. Doppler is vulnerable during his attacks and can regenerate health energy if struck while standing still. However, his barriers are sure to burst if he's struck by his greatest weakness, the acid burst. Not that it matters, but his name is Mac. Or should I say, was Mac. All right, hunters, and there you have it. Mega Man X3 is now a wrap. And fun fact, Doppler does have some minor, non-canical appearances as the main antagonist in the card series Mega Mission, and does appear as a card in Teppin, as well as appearing in the Legacy Collection's X Challenge Mode. Other than that, Doppler's legacy has come to an end, as has this current season of Metal Heroes X. 
we will be taking a bit of a hiatus from the X series as we shift our focus to the classic series with both Rockman and Fort, or Forte as I should say, and Mega Man 8. But when we come back, we'll have one hell of a season and perhaps the most packed season to date as we explore the Mavericks and more of Mega Man X4. So until then, this is Denden, Den, signing off.